In Colombia, as in all of the Amazon, nobody deliberately targets stingrays. In fact, they actively try and avoid them because they're so dangerous. Now, what I tend to do in the absence of local intelligence, I look at, for those places on a river where food is likely to settle, places where you get eddies. And I found one particularly nice looking place at the downstream end of this island. I went there, cast out a piece of dead fish, and settle back to wait. But what I don't do in that situation is not sort of, you know, close my eyes and drift off and just wait for the line being taken to wake me up. Now this line is 150 pound braid, but very importantly, it's very thin and it has no stretch. So you can actually tell what's going on down by the hook. And what happened was something gave a little pull and then just looking at it, it appeared to stop, but my finger could actually feel something going on. It felt like something was chewing down there. So when this went off again, I was ready for it. I set the hook, but then I realized very, very quickly that this was a large stingray, much bigger than anything that I'd been led to believe was in the river. And at this point, I got a bit worried because, yep, the line is strong, it's a good reel, but this rod actually is a bit too long, a bit too flexible for a large stingray. And I really, really started to worry whether this rod would be up to the job. It turns out the rod wasn't up to the job, but another thing about fishing successfully, it's about thinking on your feet, and I was able to establish very quickly that the line hadn't broken, so I immediately went into hand lining mode, which actually went very well, until the point where we got the fish close to the surface. Now at that point, I've got to be very careful because my hands are close to the water, potentially very close to the fish, and I had to make very, very sure that I didn't get one of those stuck in me. Here it is. Oh. I really thought I wasn't going to get this in. I was using 150 pound main line braid, 100 pound nylon, and then 150 pound Kevlar. And this thing, when it took, it just it just went. If those spines, and there's two of them there, if they went in your leg and came out, that would be that would be very bad news. But if they didn't come out and remained attached, that would be even worse. If this thing decided to go and it decided to head off for the deep water and you're attached, there's nothing, absolutely nothing you could do about it. 